you want to kick us off? Thanks. Good? Yes, all okay, thanks. Does the first one of the season seem a long time ago now? <laughs> Sorry, well, that was a <laughs> Okay. Um, tell us about your squad for the weekend. How are things with Samir Nasri at the moment? Well, Samir Nasri is fit, he doesn't have any problem, as most part of the squad. Now, in the last game, we have except uh, Andy Carroll and uh, Winston Reed, all the other players are fit. And, uh, and Jarmolenko. But he, Jarmolenko is working already with the squad. He can play, but he's working 100%. And what about Jack Wilshire? Is he ready to start? He's been a substitute for the past few matches. Uh, yes, Jack is uh, ready to start. He will be involved in the squad list this game, exactly as was the last game. At the minute that he played, he did it very well. Um, if you win, you'll be guaranteed to finish in the top half of the table. Would that make it a successful season? Well, that it means that uh, we have a good season, uh, especially if we compare with the, with the last season in, in all different issues in goal conceded or in goal score in points but i think that that must not be our our comparison i think that uh, it's important to to know that we make an improvement but we must try to do it best the next the next season so last uh, season we finished 13 if we play we finish in the first 10 teams it would be a, a good position for, for this season, but I think in the future we must try to work harder to try to continue improving. How confident are you that you can do that next season? You can improve on, on what you've done already this season? Yes, of course. I think that if we have a normal season without so many injury players, if we can uh, be a consistent team as in the way we play, especially against the big teams this, this, uh, this season, I think that we can, we can improve a lot. Are you pleased with the way that you're, you're finishing the season? I mean, you go into this final match having won your, your previous two. Yes, I'm happy uh, not only for the result, uh, also for in the way we are playing. I think that we lost against United, we draw against Leicester, Leicester City. But in both games we, we played very well. We continue in the same way and we won the last next game, so I hope that we will finish with the third game and winning in a row. And also, uh, with more than 50 points, that's not a bad amount of points, considering that we start so bad this season. Are we seeing the, the team that you wanted at the start of the season, but the results weren't coming together at, at the beginning? It took a bit of time, but where we are now is is this where you want it to be? Yes, of course, because maybe when we start the season, we just have a, a few months or one month and a half working on, uh, in pre-season and with not the complete squad. Now, of course, after one year working, I think that we have an improvement. And uh, as I just said you, the next season, I think that we must improve from the improvement that we did in the last part of the season. You finished with a match against um, Watford. Tell me, what, what have you made of uh, Javi Gracia and the, the job that he has done there this season. It's, it's the, the highest finish, set to be the highest finish. They've got more points this season than they've ever achieved. Well, I think that uh, Watford with Javi Gracia had done in a brilliant season, uh, not only for the amount of points that they had in the Premier League, uh, also because they're in the final of the FA Cup. So I think that deserve merits of the players and the manager. Do you since they might have one eye on the cup final rather than playing against West Ham? Sorry? Do you think they might be distracted by being in the cup final? No, I don't think. They have one week more. They will want to finish winning in, uh, with their fans in the last game of the season at home. So if they have uh, one week, I don't think that nobody will be thinking about that. I want to ask you about what's going on at the top of the table this weekend as the Premier League comes to uh, conclusion, you won the title with Manchester City uh, and you won it on the final day. What the nerves like on that occasion? Well, it was a very special season because we came always with 
two or three, uh, two or three games in our hand for different reasons. We couldn't play before because we played the final of the cup because we, one was uh, for weather condition. But we were forced to win all the games uh, and we did it. So that was so important not to make the mistake. You won five in a row to win the title that year. Manchester City go into their final match this season having won 13 in a row. Mm. What does that take? How much of an achievement? Is that? It's a good achievement because they discount seven points from Liverpool in a moment of the uh, around uh, at the beginning of the of this year. So I think it's not easy to discount so many points and winning so many games. So now they have the option to win the title in their hand, and we will see what happens. Is it is it a, an anxious time when you're on the bench, knowing that if you win, you can win the title? Or? Tell us what the emotions are like. Well, of course, when you work the complete year with a group of players, with one target, and in those big teams, you know that you must try to win the title. It will not be a successful season. When you are so near to do it, of course, you are worried not to make a mistake and to try to be as much calm as you can. Do you think Manchester City will do it this time? It's difficult to know, but I think that they have all the options because they depend on themselves. Tell me, what did you make of Vincent Company scoring that goal against Leicester on Monday? A brilliant goal. I think that uh, Vincent deserved to score that so important goal because he's part of that uh, club so many years. He's the captain and he's always a great professional, giving all what he can for the club. And what will it do for Manchester City going into the final match in terms of maintaining that momentum, belief, confidence? Well, of course, I know most part of their players. I think that they, they and their, man, their manager knows what means to win. I think that they have all the, the problem resolved. Now they must do it in 90 minutes. Some people are calling this um, a great week for entertaining football. What with, what with that goal, what with Liverpool and Tottenham and Chelsea winning it in the what have you made of this week in terms of a spectacle of entertainment? Well, really, I think that the both semi final of the Champions League were uh, very good games, both of them, entertainment games, and with top players playing from both sides. Also, yesterday in the, the semi final of the Fake Cup. I think that uh, it's a great achievement also for England football to have the four teams playing the two finals in Europe. Maybe last year always were two or three teams of Spain. Now I think that it's a big step for this uh, for this league. So I hope that we are going to see the same quality of football in the in the final that we saw recently in the semi final. What does it say about the Premier League to have? Four teams in two well, I always say that the Premier League is the best league of the world, uh, not only for the for the amount of of, of good players that we have, because there's uh, 20 teams that has money to buy good players, so it's so difficult to make a difference between one team and the other one. There we are, have here six teams that may be one step one step forward than the others. But if you see when they play against teams that are in relegation zone, it's not it's not easy then to beat. Uh, now before game before uh, teams and the final of the European Cups, and considering that the the, the, the the team that is leader in the Premier is not in that, those four in those four. Um, in those four teams, so Manchester City is out of that. So it represents more how difficult is the, the Premier. Thank you. Camera's off.